I don't know where I'm going with that sentence. Is it me? Where, uh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to Hi, I'm Lucinda and I study a Bachelor of Architectural Design and I'm here today with Fred, a lecturer at the School of Architecture and today we're going to be answering some of your questions. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, I have the first question. What is architectural design? That's a tricky one. Uh, I think it uh, can be defined by the design and construction of spaces uh, through the use of geometry. At the end, what you'll get is a designed environment and ambience and that's how can you be defined. Uh, who should study architectural design? I think there should be three main qualities. People that love to make things, because we are constantly making, uh, either actually physically making or designing something, by like sketching. Uh, the other one would be thinking outside of the box, people that are creative and question uh, everything around them. And uh, also talking about the environment itself, uh, people that love to travel, there's always a quality, that an aspect that you can go to other cities and actually understand their culture by the architecture. Yeah, I completely agree. You don't look at cities the same way once you've studied this degree. Why did you decide to study architecture? Uh, well, I suppose it really brought together all of my interests. Design, problem solving, communication, sustainability and history. And I suppose I've always had an interest in making things better for communities. And I truly believe that the built environment can impact a person's quality of life. So it just seemed like the perfect fit. And why did you choose the University of Queensland? Well, at the end of grade 12, I went to many, many open days. But when I went to UQ and I walked into the architecture studios and saw the work that the previous students had done, I just knew that I wanted to do something like that and that I wanted to go to UQ. Uh, what are the best aspects of the course? Um, I think there's every, a little bit of everything and so you get a broad aspect or, or, or many aspects on how to use architecture. So it can be from social, indigenous point of view to a sustainable or design point of view or technology instead. So it's kind of a well-rounded degree so I think that's a very positive. Mm. Uh, what career opportunities are there for graduates of this program? So obviously there's the initial ones is always architectural practices from small practices to more large global practices. We have graduates that are distributed from all those. However, due to the technology and how things are evolving in architectural design, I think there's also other aspects that you can bring in through digital construction, exploration, even digital environments. Also, designs from uh, small fixtures to urban design. I think there's, there's many, many career opportunities. And I've always found that the school and staff are really eager to help in any way that they can. What is your favourite spot on campus? Oh, <laughs> Merlot's. I think <laughs> it's become a routine now that after every lecture, me and my friends will go and get a cup of coffee and then slowly walk back to studio. And it's just a nice little routine that we've got. That coffee aspect is very important to architecture. Yeah, so, lots yeah. and lots of caffeine is needed for this degree. <laughs> One thing you wish you knew before you started? Something that I would tell high school students, if they didn't get the opportunity to study uh, graphics or architecture or any computer design program in school, I highly recommend in the holidays between grade 12 and uni that you do a Photoshop course or Revit or Archicad or SketchUp and really just familiarise yourself with the programming that you will be using throughout the course. And then once you have those skills, keep working on them, keep expanding upon them because it's those skills that are really going to help you with the communication um, when it comes to your assignments. So that's something I wish someone had told me. What do you enjoy most about teaching architectural design at UQ? Um, I think it's when you come in, when the students come in and, and you start seeing them questioning, applying that critical thinking to everything. I think that's, that's the most beautiful part of the architectural design and see how your minds evolve and how we can produce beautiful and significant things into the world. Mm, I agree. My way of thinking about the world and questioning everything has definitely changed and I don't think I'm ever going to look at the world the same way again. So what do you love about your degree? Uh, well, first of all, it's a very challenging degree, 
But I think what I love most about my degree is that I've had the opportunity to work with some amazing lecturers and tutors who are the best in their field, who have really pushed me and encouraged me and opened me up to new ways of thinking. And I will never look at the world the same way again. And those are skills that I only could have gotten here. So I love that. So what was your favorite project at the School of Architecture? Well, I've had the opportunity to work on some amazing projects throughout this degree. At the moment, we're working on an Indigenous Health Centre out at Dakobin. But I think my favourite project that I've done was we had to design a penguin enclosure at Dreamworld. And that was amazing because we got to go out on site to Dreamworld and we got to work with the veterinary students. And it was a real collaborative process and it felt like something that I could be doing in the future. And I think that is one of my favourite projects that we've worked on. So what are the best aspects of the school? Everyone is super friendly across all year levels. Everyone knows everyone and the staff are really approachable and they're always there to help if you have a question or if you need help with your career or you're unsure of something, you can always go to them for help. And I can truly say that I have met some of my best friends in this course, people that think the same way as me, have the same interests as me, and I'm really lucky in that I get to spend every day with my best friends. I have the final question. What does the future of this industry look like? Uh, I think the future is bright. Uh, the available on tools and, and, and everything that we are creating through this digital medium now uh, allows you to actually participate from, again, the classical definition of architecture where you define and construct buildings uh, to any other setting or environments being part of game design, set design, and all of those elements will be part of, uh, part of your career. So I do think we have a lot of opportunities coming in the future. Someone worked on the set of Game of Thrones, apparently. Yep. Like there are career opportunities. There are, there are, no. And, and when I was in California, there was in, in Hollywood. Yeah. You know, so we have the all architectural offices, but if you move and say, if you are a good model maker and things yeah. like that, they do from Hollywood, they pick you up, set and this environment for us, this virtual environment, and they'll, you know, you become EA Games, Hollywood, everything. So wow. there's far more opportunities cool. than that.